So it is vMix Tech Tips time, where we go through a topic of interest that people have been asking about. So uh, this topic today, a lot of people have been asking about, well, how are those frame rates in vMix work? Or how do frame rates work in video? Why are there these weird frame rates? Why do I have to tick some boxes and, and not others? Uh, for, for doing all this sort of stuff, particularly in the United States. So we're going to give you a quick overview of how frame rates work around the world. So there's different major frame rates. Uh, there's the two major standards back in the old analog days of PAL and NTSC. So PAL is Australia, the UK, uh, various parts of the world are in PAL. North America is in NTSC. Now PAL is 25 progressive frames a second. So entire frames, there's 25 of those a second in PAL. Now there's also interlaced. Interlaced is where you double the frame rate, so it's 50 frames a second, but you only have every even and odd lines in each frame. So for example, uh, if you, you're doing interlaced PAL 50 frames a second, it is, it is you know, the even fields for one frame, the odd fields for another, and so on and so forth. So that goes back to the analog days where the, you know, the old tube televisions where it would scan every even line, 25 frames a second, and then every odd line, 25 frames a second, which brings up a total of 50 frames of movement. Um, so that's why you have, you know, in vMix you have 25 and you have 50. 50 interlaced is for the cameras that send out an interlaced signal and 25p is for cameras that send out a progressive signal. And that's the PAL world. But then you get into the NTSC world for North America wow. and other parts of the world, which is a little bit different. It is 29.97 frames a second progressive and 59.94 frames a second interlaced. So. The key thing to remember in vMix is when you go to add camera in vMix and you're selecting the settings for that camera, what you're selecting in the vMix add camera window is what the camera is sending, not what you want it to be converted to. So that's very important. So you want to make sure that if the camera is sending interlaced video at 59.94, uh, then you need to make sure that in vMix it is set to 59.94 I. I uh, is the symbol for interlaced. If the camera is sending out progressive, it would be 29.97p. And of course, these are the two major standards for cameras that you usually buy in North America. If you buy a camera in Australia, it's probably going to be 50 or 25. So the key thing is to just remember that those are the four major frame rates around the world that cameras are typically going to be sending output as. In North America and, and some parts of Europe and the rest of the world, it's going to be 29.97p if it's progressive and 59.94i if it's interlaced. Now, this is the question why this question has come up. Is <laughs> <laughs> why this question has come up a lot is because um, there are, is a bit of confusion out there about, well, okay, what about 60i? And what about 30p in North America? Well, back in the analog days, back when these standards were set apart, back in the days, in fact, of black and white television, cameras were 30 and 60i in North America. When they added color, uh, for technical reasons, for interference and things like that, they had to slightly change the frame rate so it wasn't exactly 60 or wasn't exactly 30. And that's where you get 29.97 and 59.94. It goes all the way back to the analog days of making sure that the color didn't interfere with the black and white signal. Uh, because so many people still had black and white televisions back then that you know they wanted to get a good picture for both black and white and for color. So those standards still stick with us today. All high-end cameras from Sony, Panasonic, and Canon that you buy in the US, if they say 60i, what they really mean is 59.94i or 29.97. So when adding the camera to vMix, select 29.97 or 59.94.
even though it says in the camera settings and the, the specifications on a lot of these cameras that it says 60 or 30. It's only things like webcams and IP cameras that actually really do have 30 or 60. So keep that in mind. And the final uh, thing I wanted to, to, to point out is when you're adding a camera to vMix uh, and you go to the camera tab and you select the frame rate, when you're selecting an interlaced frame rate, so if your camera is set to 60i or 59.94i and you select that, there is also a checkbox that appears under that frame rate in vMix that says interlaced. Now, you want to check that box if it's an interlaced signal. If you're seeing like crossbars, like you can see here, we've got a progressive signal, but if you're seeing like horizontal lines and what is called tearing or um, um, interlaced artifacts, you want to tick the interlaced box. Because as I mentioned, what you're setting in the add input camera box, you're selecting what the camera is sending. So if it's sending interlaced, you tick the interlaced box to say, this camera is sending interlaced and vMix will make sure you don't have those lines. Um, so unticking the interlaced won't deinterlace it. Um, for people that are familiar with deinterlacing, you want to tick that box to tell vMix, hey, this video signal is interlaced and then vMix will automatically handle deinterlacing if necessary. So that's the key thing. If your camera is sending interlaced, um, make sure you tick the interlaced box so that vMix knows that it's interlaced and it can handle it appropriately. So hopefully that's a very quick overview of how frame weights work and particularly in North America, just that confusion. If you've got a Canon, Sony or Panasonic camera that says 60i in the settings, it's really 59.94. Um, so I, ho I hope that helps somebody. Mm -hmm.